We are hearing today for the first time from Mayor Adams about a bombshell new lawsuit detailing an alleged sexual assault dating back more than 30 years. Adams insists the assault never happened, and he says it won't impact how he runs the city. Eyewitness News reporter N.J. Burgett live this afternoon at City Hall with more. N.J.? Yeah, right, Sandra. The mayor was adamant about that. But to be clear, the lawsuit was not unexpected. Attorneys for the accuser put the mayor and the city on notice late last year. But it does add to the many challenges the mayor faces and the multiple questions he must now answer. This did not happen. It did not happen. Uh, I don't recall ever uh, meeting this person during my time uh, in the police department. Mayor Adams faced the questions head on, flatly denying an allegation of sexual assault that goes back 31 years to when Adams was a police officer. A lawsuit filed by a civilian employee accuses Adams of sexually assaulting her after she rejected his advances back in 1993. The accuser, Lorna Beach Mathura, declined to be interviewed and has filed multiple multiple unrelated and unsuccessful lawsuits in the past. My life has been a clear open book for almost 40 years now. I have been one of the most public faces in the city, and I have always carried myself with the level of dignity uh, that New Yorkers expect from me. The message that he can continue to run the city despite the lawsuit and despite a series of investigations into his campaign fundraising. Four people charged last year with running a straw donor scheme. A Long Island businessman pleaded guilty yesterday to similar allegations. Mayor Adams acknowledged meeting the man, Hui Quinn. He's one of those people who I've met while on the campaign trail. The thousands upon thousands of people that I interacted with from different walks of life. Last fall, FBI agents raided the home of its chief fundraiser, part of a federal investigation, and whether the campaign received illegal contributions from citizens and government officials in Turkey. Authorities are investigating whether Adams, then the Brooklyn Borough President, played a role in fast-tracking a certificate of occupancy for the Turkish consulate. The mayor has not been charged with any wrongdoing and has denied knowledge of any improper contributions. And he insisted today that he's confident that none of it will overshadow the accomplishments of his administration. I want to say to New Yorkers, I'm going to continue to do my job of navigating the city out of the crisis that we have been in, of just as we navigated out of COVID, the asylum seeker crisis, public safety, housing crisis. Uh, I'm focused on doing that. And he used the word focused multiple times, more than a dozen times at his press event here at City Hall today. As for the lawsuit, the mayor is being defended by the city's corporation council, who refused to comment on any of the specific allegations in that lawsuit.